Hi, Ross from Joyworks. Today we're talking about the basic workstation setup, particularly from a home office environment. So the first thing you need to think about is where you're going to locate your desk. The dining room table may have been okay for the odd email at night, but now you're working eight hours a day at home. You've got to try and find a location that's firstly quiet and free from the general foot traffic through the house. Secondly, think about placing it up against a wall close to the power point so the cables can be all cleanly laid away and out of harm's reach along the side of the wall there. And also think about where the sunlight is. You need good natural light but not direct sunlight. So make these sort of a pleasant place where you can set your workstation up, work well, in a pleasant environment, but at the end of the day you can shut the door and walk away and connect with the rest of the family. Let's consider the desk first. Now a desk height for a non-height adjustable desk is normally 710 to 725 millimeters high. It might be handy to have a tape measure to check this out on your own. So from the ground up, to the top of the desk, 725 millimeters. And you may find if you measure your dining room table, it's a lot higher at about 750 millimeters, so not so suitable for sitting at all day long. The depth of the desk should be a minimum of about 700 millimeters from front to back, which gives you plenty of room for your keyboard and monitors and any paperwork on there. And how wide should it be? Well, as wide as you want to fit into the space available. So those are the basic requirements of the desk. Okay, having a great chair is really well worth the investment. Something like this chair. So it's got height adjustment on it. It's got tilt back and forward here and also the lumbar support needs to be raised up to the right height just so that that curve is in the lower part of your lower back and then tighten this up. So once you've got that tightened in the right place, make sure the tilt is slightly back so you're just leaning slightly back in and then the height should be such that when you're sitting at your desk the base of your elbow, this part here, should be just on the top of the edge of the desk. That'll set the chair at the right height. Now, if after you've raised the chair to the right height, and you're a little bit like me, you find your feet aren't quite touching the ground, then it's worth getting hold of a footrest. Something like this is a great idea. This is a height adjustable flute line footrest. You can wind the screws out on the feet to get them to the right height and place that under there. And then you've got great foot support while you're seated at your desk at the right height. Okay, so now we've got the chair and the desk matching correct height. And the last height to consider is a monitor height. So the top of the working screen should be horizontal to my eyesight and it should be roughly an arm's length away from you. So now that we've got all those heights right, we should be able to be sitting and working comfortably in front of our main primary screen. One thing though, if you are wearing progressive lens glasses, we do suggest that this monitor screen be lowered down to the better viewing height because we're looking through a different part of the lens of the glasses when we are wearing progressive lenses. Okay, well I hopefully that's given you a good idea of how to set up the basic workstation assessment at home and hopefully that will help have a great time with friends, family and your pets as well because we're all in this together. If you need more information, then you can go to our website and have a look at the remote services section where we do a full workstation assessment in your own home. But for now, enjoy and we look forward to seeing you in the future.